This is a tutorial how to install the Fio Free Ultra Free Access Gimbal onto the Iris. Okay, first what you will need, your Iris Plus quadcopter, an adapter plate and your Fio Free Gimbal. You have to mount your Fio Free Gimbal to your adapter plate. Now where you have your Iris quadcopter, you need to solder on the um, power lead for the um, Fio Free Gimbal, it uses a different one, it uses a server connector instead of a JST connector. Now connect the power connector to the Fio Free Gimbal and open up the top shell. Um, I like to run the wires past the battery door and through this hole here since otherwise it requires opening the whole shell and this is really inconvenient when you want to dismount to the gimbal quickly. Okay, now the first thing we will be connecting is wide, what is pitch, into out, um, RX out one. Make sure that the cable end is looking down since it's a signal cable, not a ground cable. The next thing what we will be connecting is brown, what is yaw. Make sure that the black is pointing is the upper cable and the brown is the bottom since brown will be the signal and black is the ground. Now the third cable we are connecting is the yellow one and that will be our mode switching cable where we can select the mode of the gimbal, for example heading lock or following mode. I like to run the cables out through this hole. Um, it just makes it easy and more convenient when you want to take off the gimbal for transport. Okay, now where you have installed your gimbal onto your iris, now it's time to select the settings in Mission Planner for pan and modes, mode switching um, as well as well as assigning two switches for mode switching for pan mode, following mode or locked mode channel. Okay, when you have an Iris Plus, the first thing you have to do is disable the landing function on channel 7. So you go under config, parameters, Scroll down to you see channel 7, what is set to land. So now you select do nothing. Now you can go under initial setup. Okay, now you select SC9 and input SC6 and roll you select SC11 and under input SC7. In pan you select SE10 and in input you select SE8. Okay, now how to assign the switches on your transmitter. You hold down the menu button. Now you press the minus button five times. Do you see a five there? Okay, now where you're on page number five. Now press the down button. Do you see channel or C7? Now you press the menu button once, press copy, move it down the channel. Now you have copied down the settings for channel 7 into channel 8. Now we have to select menu. Now you select edit. Now we want to select the switch, so now we press the minus button. To go to P1, what is one of those dials right next behind this dial? Okay, now where we have selected P1, just click off it. Now we can press exit, exit again, exit again. Now you can see once I turn P1, you can see the indicator moving channel 8. 
Okay, all you now need to do is go into Mission Planner again and do a transmitter calibration and move all the switches and dials on your transmitter. Once you have done that, everything should work fine. Okay, hope you got your gimbal sorted. And see you next time.